hundreds paid tribute to career paramedic firefighter Robert A. Bobby Jones on Sunday, January 30th, during a moving celebration of his life. You know, as sad of a day as it was, we gave Bobby the honor and the, the focus that he deserved. When Jones died on January 20th at age 59, the emergency services community of not only Carroll County, but the entire region lost one of its own. Jones, who had been with the Reese and Community Volunteer Fire Company for more than three decades, died in the line of duty, having contracted COVID-19 in December and finally losing his battle to the virus after complications. Despite wearing all the PPE and doing the right things, you know, he still contracted COVID and ultimately became very sick. A visitation was held for Jones at the Reese Fire Company on Saturday, January 29th. Jones's funeral service with full line of duty honors took place on Sunday, January 30th in the Westminster High School Auditorium. The hour-long service included a video tribute, a presentation from the office of Maryland Governor Larry Hogan, and a presentation of the IAFF Martin E. Pierce Commemorative Line of Duty Death Medal. Speakers included Carroll County Commissioner Stephen Wance and Director of Carroll County Department of Fire and EMS Michael Robinson. Wance, who was in the same 1982 Baltimore County Fire Department recruit class as Jones, called him a man of courage and a true hero. Bobby was incredibly dedicated. The most comfortable place for Bobby was being in the fire station. His, his smile was infectious and uh, he had a way of, of uh, you know, bringing sunshine into darkness, if you will, when we were in the midst of something. So just a great guy all around. Robinson, who had known Jones since 1983 and worked with him for many years in Baltimore County, said he sought out Jones's counsel after being named the county's fire and EMS director last September. Following the celebration of Jones's life, his casket led a procession to Timonium's Delaney Valley Memorial Garden's Fallen Heroes section for a graveside committal. Uh, you know, seeing that line of blue uh, saluting when a casket's coming down through him, I've done that so many times in my, in my life. Uh, but that's, um, it's honorable, but yet it's sad. Jones was known for his calm demeanor and sense of humor. Katie Townsley, PIO and chair of the Reese Fire Company board, called Jones a part of the family, a friend and mentor, and noted that his passing will be felt for quite some time. A fire service lifer, Jones began with the Woodlawn Volunteer Fire Company on September 19, 1978, and he remained a life member until his death. He soon made fire services his career, entering the Baltimore County Fire Department Academy as a firefighter recruit in 1982. He served the county as a paramedic firefighter at various stations, retiring from Station 4D in Catonsville as a fire lieutenant in 2012. He joined the staff of Reese as a paramedic in the late 1980s, working part-time until he became a full-time paramedic firefighter engineer in January 2007. Had a great influence with Reese, with a lot of the younger members. He actually served as a mentor and being a paramedic and being a driver. He had lots of knowledge, lots of experience, and he was one of those that passed it on. Jones also volunteered at Lansdowne Volunteer Fire Company from 2011 to 2013 and Cape St. Clair Volunteer Fire Company from January 2013 until his death. Besides the fact that we run in you know, while everybody's running out, uh, you know, this, the, the pandemic has, has uh, put a whole level of uh, challenge in, in, in the business. Jones is survived by his mother, father, four siblings, two stepdaughters, and two grandchildren. He was preceded in death by his wife. He will be remembered fondly by all in his fire service family as well. Bobby will leave a legacy and will not soon be forgotten. And I'm sure moving forward, there will be many ways in which he will be honored. Um, his name will be inscribed both at the National uh, Fallen Firefighters Memorial, which is actually a national monument. It's at the National Fire Academy up in Emmitsburg. A lot of lasting tributes, at least three of them, the state, the two national levels um, that Bobby will be honored with, and I'm sure um, Reese and Baltimore County and some of the other places where he was involved, Cape Sinclair and Anne Arundel County, he'll go on the county monuments as well. So, you know, he will not be forgotten, but more importantly, what Bobby stood for um, will be an influence to a lot of people for a long time.